Hey guys, Richard Constable here. Today we're going to be talking about arpeggios. Now an arpeggio is when you play certain notes from a chord in succession. So one famous example of an arpeggio is Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin, played by the wonderful Jimmy Page. Can you see how he plays the notes of different chords in succession? gives a really, really nice effect when you have it in a song. Okay, so I'm going to give you five different examples of arpeggios that you can use today. So the first example we're going to use is the E minor chord we picked up from our second video in this series. So this is the open three strings at the bottom here. And we're going to pick from the first string to the second string to the third string and then back to the second and this is called a picking pattern and what you do is you keep playing it over and over again and it gives a really nice feel to a song. So let's try it. So first string, then second string, then third string. Notice I'm not needing to use my left hand right now because this is all open strings. And then second string after that. So first, second, then third. So let's, let's revolve it round and round and let's see how it sounds. The second chord we learned was the G7 chord. So let's try using that same picking pattern, but with the G7 chord. We've got our first finger on the first string, okay, on the first fret. So that's the G7 chord. So let's try our picking pattern, going from the first to the second to the third, and back to the second string after that. So we go like this. put the E minor and the G7 together and you get this kind of effect. So it could be the start of a song. I can hear a melody already coming to me. So let's try our third chord and that's the G chord. So that is using our third finger on the third fret of the first string, playing the bottom three strings. So that's our G chord. Let's try our picking pattern. Okay, so now we're going to put all three chords together. was the C chord and that's using the first finger on the second string just like this using our fingertips flat thumb at the back so we're on the first fret of the second string playing the bottom three strings so let's try our picking pattern Let's add it to the rest of the chords. Finish on the C. That's a really, really nice sound. So the fifth chord we're going to do is the E major. So the E major uses the first finger on the third string. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to move through our five chords, E major, C, E minor, G7, and G. Let's jump into it. Using our picking pattern, using the first string, then the second, then the third, and back to the second.
Okay, I change the order a little bit. So it's E major, then C, E minor, G, G7, and then finish on the C. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Richard Constable learning about arpeggios today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and share and tell all your friends. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.